What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys an introduction to assembly configurations in Onshape. If you haven't already, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel down below in order for me to keep posting more videos like this and comment down below if you guys have any other suggestions for videos that I can do in the future and feel free to share this video with anyone who may find this helpful. Now let's get into it. So. Why are assembly configurations so useful? It's just a better way to uh, visualize your model, um, to have it in a certain position. So that way it's just easier, it can be easier to view it. Or on top of that, if you have a lot of parts and your model lags really badly, then it would it's better to sometimes have configurations. So if you do lose something on accident, it won't uh, break the model and it'll keep it in that way. If you're still confused about what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'm going to go a little more in depth into it and explain more about it. But if you are confused about what assemblies are, what mates are, if none of this makes sense to you, I recommend you watch my introduction to assemblies and introduction to parts videos videos where I actually go more in depth about what this all means. So this is maybe more for some somebody advanced or somebody who's been using Onshape for a little bit that knows the lay of the land and knows a little bit about what's going on. So basically the reason I want to configure this assembly, uh, this was a pneumatic engine I was working on a while ago, but in, the reason I wanted to configure it is because I wanted to see, um, let's say like the highest point and the lowest point, I needed to measure distances there to see where the piston was. So if I turn my section view on, you can see the pistons there. I just wanted to kind of see the height and all that just to see if I had my measurements right. Unfortunately, I can't get the accurate measurements if I just do it manually like this because it, there's always going to be a little bit of offset. And um, I can attest to this, but even a little bit of miscalculation can lead to a big catastrophe in the model. So uh, if you want to be as accurate as possible, assembly configurations can actually help you. So to configure the assembly, first, instead of just configuring it right away, we have to make a mate. All right, so we're gonna make a parallel mate. And then now, as you can see, it's fixed and I can measure, uh, I can accurately measure any distance that I want. And if I turn my section view on, as you can see, the piston is at its highest point. And I can see, yes, I was okay in my clearance and it should be okay where it is right now. I can also do the same thing when it's down below. So I can do what, what I can do is instead of just deleting this and doing this all over again, I can click suppress and then this, I can move this down and then click on suppress and it fixes it. And if we turn our section view on again, you can see the piston is all the way down, which it is right here and it does clear it. So it should work. Um, by this design right here. So basically suppressing and unsuppressing is temporarily uh, disabling or enabling a mate. So when you suppress it, you disable it. And when you unsuppress it, you enable it. Keep that in mind when we're doing the assembly configurations. To do the assembly configurations, we're gonna click this middle box here on the right configuration panel. And then we're gonna click configure assembly. All right, we're just gonna do the checkbox for now since that's simple and easier to understand. So as you can see, there's a drop down menu right here. There's only one option because we haven't configured anything yet. So click configure assembly features, select instances or mates to configure. So we're gonna configure this one. All right, and we're gonna click unsuppressed. All right, so when something is unsuppressed, it means that it is on and it is enabled and is work if this is checked that means that this mate is going to be enabled but this this is not checked it means it's going to be disabled or suppressed so we want to have our default which would be moving we want to normally see our engine moving and then we also want to have it fixed so we can see um if it's up or down and we can be a little more specific and say up or down and then now you have the option of checking it. So 
for moving we want it suppressed so we're gonna leave this open we're not gonna check it but for fixed up and down we're gonna check it and then it's going to be suppressed all right and if it's blue it means that's the default and you can change the default to this if you want to but we want it by default the engine to be moving so we're going to leave it at that all right so if we just close this and we have it in the moving configuration that means this thing can freely move which as you can tell it can it moves properly and now if i want to see the topmost point of the engine you can do fixed and then now it moves it to the topmost point and then i can put it back to moving if i want to continue to have it moving like this and then if I want to see the bottom most point, I can click again. I can move it to the bottom, click fixed, up or down, and it'll automatically fix it to the bottom of the engine. And then when I'm done looking at what I need to look at and measure what I need to measure, I can click moving and then I can have it move up and down again. All right, so that's just a basic introduction to assembly configurations. It gets much more complicated than that, but that's how they are basically useful in on shape um just to you know have a different perspective to look at things or to make measuring just a tad bit easy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos especially the ones that i've done on shape i have a whole playlist of the videos i've done you should check that out if you would like drop a like subscribe to the channel down below and comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos in the future and share this video with people who may find this useful. I appreciate you guys for all your support and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.